once upon a time, there was a family who didn't have much of anything, except that the mother and the father had 10 kids. <laughs> That's a lot of kids. I would never have to. <laughs> well, you know what? They loved their 10 kids, but it was expensive to feed and clothe 10 kids. They did not have very much money left over. But they happened to live to a very wealthy neighbor. Now, this family, who didn't have much of anything except for 10 kids, every night they got together and they sang. And when they sang, it made their hearts all warm and happy, and this is the song that they would sing. Oh, we love to sing together. We're so happy when we're singing together. We don't need money. We don't need gold. We just love singing together. And they would sing at the top of their lungs so loud that their wealthy neighbor could hear them in his house. And their wealthy neighbor thought to himself, hmm, what do they have to be happy about? I'm the wealthy one. I should be the happy one. What are they singing about? It's annoying and it needs to stop. And so he went over to his neighbor's house with a big sack of gold. Can you hold up your sacks of gold? Oh, it was so heavy. And he knocked on their door. Ready? Knock, 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 knock. And the mother and the father, they opened the door and they saw their neighbor standing there with this bag of gold. And that wealthy neighbor looked at his neighbors and he said, here, take this money. You can do a lot of things with it, but I want you to stop that singing. Well, the mom and dad looked at that, that big bag of gold, and they thought about all of the good food that they could buy for their kids, and all of the shoes that they could buy to put on their kids' feet. And so they made a decision that they didn't really like. They took the bag of gold and promised that they would stop singing. And at first, it was fine because they had some nice food to eat and the kids got new clothes and they hadn't had new clothes in a long time. But the mom and the dad, they realized that as time went on and they weren't singing together, their kids got sadder and sadder until they were walking around with heavy shoulders and frowning faces. And the mom and the dad, didn't like this at all. In fact, they didn't like this enough to, that they didn't want that big bag of gold. And so they decided to return it so that they could start singing again. They brought that bag of gold over to their neighbor's house and they left it on it right in front of the door and then they knocked on the door. Can you knock on the door? Boom, 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 boom. And they ran back over to their house and they started to sing their song. They sang, oh, we love to sing together. We're so happy we're singing together. We don't need money. We don't need gold. We just love singing together. The wealthy neighbor woke up in his bed. What were they doing singing? He paid them not to sing. He jumped out of his bed. He ran down the stairs and he opened that door and tripped over that bag of gold. <sighs> now he was really upset. He scooped up the bag of gold. He went to his neighbor's house and he banged on the door. <laughs> the mother and father opened the door. The wealthy neighbor asked, what is the meaning of this? Why are you still singing your song? And the mother and the father looked at their wealthy neighbor and they said, the gold wasn't worth it. We'll keep our singing and you can keep your gold. And so the family 
traded their gold so that they could have their singing back. And once they started singing all together again, their hearts were warm. And now, Evelyn and Aaliyah and I are going to invite the whole room to sing the song all together to end our time of storytelling. Are you ready? Yeah. 